just so you know, I started streaming. Fair enough. I'm just sort of waiting for the internet to settle down. But it always seems like the first 60 seconds of my stream just cuts out, so I do my intro like 30 seconds in now. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I. that's why I, generally speaking, kind of dick around with my audio at that point, too. Hmm. I always make sure that my mic is on, my audio set to my headphones so it's not picking up the echo. That usually kills enough time that I can start my intro without too much worry. At worst, they see a blue screen for a second and they understand why because I'm just checking my audio. And it's not like it hasn't saved my ass numerous times because I... Man, when I first started doing shit, holy fuck. Primal. I had one episode where I was like, I was right into the commentary, and it was a really epic part of the game, and my fucking mic was just clicked off. <laughs> because I didn't check my audio. All because I didn't check my fucking audio. Yeah, I have changed my, um, my audio for today, so if you're a regular viewer and you've noticed my <clears throat> voice is different, it's both suffering and it's uh, on a different mic. Alrighty, so that's Alexandria that. over there. We will check that out soon. Uh, at the moment, I'm just finishing off this mission while the stream settles in. Well, welcome to German Turtle 5, guys. Uh, no iPad at the moment, so I can't hear your comments at this particular point in time. I may actually be tempted to get one. Uh, the iPad, I mean. Um, there we go. <clears throat> Well, these guys guarding on the dunes here. They haven't noticed shit. Actually, I could probably just take him out. Let's do it. I still haven't got the Assassin's Blade yet, so we're not actually playing Assassin's Creed yet. At this point, we're still playing You're an Egyptian Bastard. You're close. Very close. Kaboom! You can taste it at this point. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. They're all coming back this way. I need to hide in a bush or something. Why is there grass just growing in the middle of the desert like that? That's interesting. I will say I like how the grass is affected. Oh yeah, definitely. The grass in this looks almost as good as the grass they did in, um, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn. The grass in that is incredible. I know Horizon Zero Dawn is an alternate reality, so I'm not gonna judge it by the same means, but yeah. Oh, they've discovered the body, have they? No. Oh, no, no, look. I understand why people both like it and both hate it. There's no one here. You saw no To be fair, <clears throat> I mean, I made this distinction before, and to be fair, some of it has to do with the fact that I played Primal, and... Fuck, what was the other game I was playing? It was another, like, pre-fucking, you know, pre-war pre kind of game and shit like that. Or prehistoric kind of game. And at that point in time, I was just kind of done with those games. Mm. And Horizon Zero Dawn was a whole lot of the same. In fact, I will say that it felt a lot like they were like, hey, people actually kind of liked, um, you know, Primal. Pretty, they, they, they responded to it fairly well. How about this time we do robot dinosaurs, and we put it in the future... And we make everybody around the prota protagonist a fucking moron. Yeah, that sounds like it'll work. That sounds like exactly what they did. did. Two dead. No one's noticed and shit yeah, yet. Like I said, amazingly it did. I don't know. Mind-boggling. Can you do double ass double knockouts in this game, or just double assassin? Actually, you don't even get more than one assassin's blade, do you? I believe you're only rocking one right now. I don't even have one. Well, I will be only one. But, yeah, like, I can I knock one. two people out at the same time in this game, like you used to be able to? I don't know. Might have to mm. develop those skills later. I have a That's funny a... feeling that, like, once the assassin <clears throat> order is truly established, there's gonna be a fourth branch, or... maybe even, like, a whole nother tree or something. Yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't keep your hopes up. I feel like they're resetting the entire series so that the next game can be better than this one. I feel like that's why they introduced the new combat system and everything. Mm. I feel like you're probably right, but I still think that there's going to be like an assassin's growth. You know what I mean? I think you're gonna have to 
set the groundwork, yes. But that does still mean that you need to... Like, a double assassination is a pretty basic skill to have. Well... You know I mean? Ooh! Shit, get your sword out, buddy. Mate, do something! Thank you. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, ho, 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 he is screwed. Although, <coughs> I will say, though, you are, as far as I'm aware, kind of right about the reboot idea, because... Spoiler alert, in a sense, but one thing that I really dislike is... You know how in Assassin's Creed 1... Yeah, part buddy. Of the reason, you tried. Actually, a large part, other than the whole, you know, devoting yourself to the Creed thing, because most people aren't willing to lose a body part just to spy on a group of people. Um, but the losing of your ring finger in Assassin's Creed 1 was not just symbolic because you were, you know, giving a part of yourself to the Creed, but it also kept it so that when you popped out your hidden blade, you didn't put a hole in your fucking hand. Hmm. You know what I mean? And in this one, that's not a problem. It's kind of a Spider-Man release. Oh, okay. Which is interesting, because the hidden blade always seems to get more advanced as time goes backwards. <laughs> We've actually only really gone forward since Altair's time. Ezio was forward. Connor was forward. And by the time, like, by the time the Ezio was Run, horsey! Done, no! The hidden Blade itself hasn't a really horse. changed that much. Get out of here! Oh, that's an awful what's, thing to see, the horses on fire. What's Sorry. one thing that's, like, always changed and got more advanced as time has gone backwards, including in this one? is the advancement of the running. Hmm. Well, because, like, the trees. The running in the trees and shit like that was something that was introduced in Assassin's Creed Number three. three. Yeah. I and loved then you the fact that we added that wall. time... You went back in time to Assassin's Creed 4. You still had all the same tree running mechanics. I'm gonna have to kill and this guy. Every He's... Assassin's Creed after that has had the same tree running mechanics and all the improve. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's one thing that is canonically really wrong, but still, you know, willing to suspend your disbelief for because fuck it, I don't want to have to, you know, run like a moron because. Well, this is supposed to be before Assassin's Creed 1, so it's supposed to be shittier, right? Right? No. Nah. No. No, I agree. The game needs to be better, and yeah. But the Hidden Blade, I reckon they should just do more moves, like more choreography with it, rather than more... losses. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me that much. I'm just bringing it up. Oh, there's a sandstorm. Think, My bird I had to leave. To, uh, I think they need to change the cooking pot a little bit and maybe change the hidden blade location a little. Yeah? Yeah. Like I mean, above your arm? Or? knives have been proven pretty effective. <laughs> I just knocked you know somebody I mean? over. Sorry. They have, they have been more than proven effective. And I could see getting an assassin one day who uses boot hidden knives to their advantage. You'd still have, like, the regular hidden blade. That's a staple. Everybody gets that. Yeah. But having a boot knife so that you could, you know, kick somebody in the chin and kind of end their night that Wait, way. Wait, where's Jeffrey? Pretty epic. Where's Jeffrey? My camel's missing. Jeffrey? What are you doing inside the temple, Jeffrey? The fuck, Jeffrey? Hang on, I'm gonna get my iPad because I want to see your guys' comments. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go out of comment range here for a second. Oh, all the way at the other end of the house here. Tablet is here. Uh, One second. Oh 
my goodness. Here we go. Alright. Volume up. Brightness up, because it's a freaking hot day today. PlayStation app. I'll have to switch microphones as well. Just give me one second here, everybody. This can be a tricky maneuver. Right, we should be on the usual microphone now, and second screen is starting up. Nobu HD, he says, do you remember me? I do, I do. Oh, hey. I mean, name-wise, yeah. More. Your shield is way more fancy than the Kush shield, but you still can't stand to the Kush shield. I have the Kush shield. Oh, just one second, I'll be right back. Where is it? Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's changed to the wooden shield now. I must... Oh, I'll just re-download it again. We have ability points to spend. Let's do an air attack. I'm sure I'm going to use that. What's this? Killing enemies gets your XP. Well, that's usually a good thing. Nah, fire bombs. I want to try the fire bombs. So bad. Switch to fire bomb. Oh, there it is. A oh, hold. There we go. Now what? Okay, I might want to try this somewhere else. Just so I don't kill as many people. Here we go. Somebody left their soup on the floor. Let's try burning it. Good timing. Alright guys, all of your comments will now be heard live on stream, so make sure you don't say fuck or bugger. If you can't see the irony in that joke, you shouldn't be in the stream. Ah, uh, Steve is online, sir. Right, this is where we're meant to be. I did want to vault backwards then, not climb back up. I shall... Oh. Doing some exercises, as you can see. Getting our squats in for the day. Alloop. Come on, vault. There we go. Ah... Uh. Of course you couldn't have landed on the roof I wanted here to be on. Yes, here I am. <laughs> no, down here, sir. We'll just talk normal. How can I use the buttons of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isvet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The High Priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. So Snobby, where whereabouts are you from, mate? If you're still watching. Egypt is hotter than a sexy Asian reporter hashtag DJ. Man, if he shows up after you write that, I would laugh so hard. <laughs> 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 the best thing is, if he watches this back, that'll play. Yep. Yep. No, I, I'm gonna make him watch it back now. Hidden Tax. Oh, what else? Book of the Dead. Let's get rid of this little level 6 quest here. We're beyond that, so it shouldn't be on our map anymore. Oh no, I was gonna explore Alexandria. Screw that. that that's what this whole stream's about. Sorry, everyone. Here it is, Alexandria. Let's set a marker for here, and hopefully it'll take us the long way through Alexandria. Alright, now... Uh, stop sneaking around. We need Jeffrey. Where the... Oh no, where have I left Jeffrey now? 
temple. All right. Jeffrey. Oh, he's he's over here. There he is. That's a good camel. Right. <clears throat> we are on our way. So while Jeffrey takes us to Alexandria, we can control Jeffrey, just for the record, but I don't care because I can also control this eagle here. And the eagle is magnificent for getting a look. Look at all the birds. Look at the flamingos, the herons. This is the Nile. This is civilization at its birth. Oh dear, I've already earned a trophy for flying the bird around. I've done that for quite a long time now, for the record. <laughs> I love using the bird. It makes me feel so happy. And the best thing about the eagle in this game is there is no actual limit to how far away you can be from your character. It's just when you're fast traveling, he does stop if you go too far away. See? So he stopped there. But we can just fly around as an eagle and explore Alexandria if we wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my main character a bit. Dive bombing! Like a kamikaze jet plane. Sounded a lot happier than it should have been. Look at this boat here. Those soldiers down there are like, I'm on a boat. What's, what's going on behind me here? Nothing? Okay, good. That's us there riding a camel. Look at my camel. My camel's amazing. <laughs> I'm an eagle, yeah, I'm an eagle, yeah, I fly really high. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit excited by the prospect of an eagle. Always been my favourite animal. How beautiful is this landscape? And here's Alexandria, everybody. So now we're going from sort of like an Egyptian sort of architecture to a bit more of a Greek style, as you can see. I love how the waters change color. Oh, look at that! I want to sunbathe right there, right now. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, oh. Ha ha ha! I want to go on holiday. <laughs> but yeah, check out Alexandria. It's like a maze balls. Details on that statue alone. Ah, oh, here we go. This is. Look at that. Look. It's so pretty full. I don't think we can fly through here, but I'm going to try. No. Okay. Oh, wow. Just noticed that. I've lost my main character. It's probably ahead on the road somewhere. Ah, oh, check out this. What do we have here? It's only a pantheon. No, not a pantheon. Um, stage of some variety. Oh, I'm so bad at remembering my ancient history terminology. Look at these people enjoying a well-booked-out concert. This show sold out in, like, minutes. Look at them jumping there. I'm sure that's a glitch, actually. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Ah, this is beautiful. Just imagine living in those times and seeing this all firsthand. 
I mean, yeah, sure, you wouldn't really live long, but you'd get to enjoy life while you were there, like, holy crap. That's if you were allowed to access this part of the city, that is. Now, just a reminder, all your comments are heard live throughout the stream. And, of course, there's a limit. Yeah, Big Jam mentioned uh, that you can fly that eagle so fucking far that when you pop out of it, you load all the way back into your character. Like, it yeah. gives you a loading screen. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've been there, done that. <laughs> I, I went all the way to the Lighthouse of Alexandria, which is that thing over there, when my character was still over, like, where was it? Over there in that mountain somewhere. I love the fact that they haven't put a limit on the eagle. That is just the best thing they could have done. I have, however, actually lost my character somewhere back in the city. New location discovered, the Requisition Tavern. Well, I haven't really discovered it, to be honest, I'm just sort of flying beyond it. Man, look at the size of this place. I cannot wait to... Canopus Nome. I cannot wait to like explore this area more. Let's dive bomb down into that cult, that uh, stadium there. That is no. I've got this. That is. Oh come on, what's it called? Whatever. It's a horse race. It's brutal, and horses die in it. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Had to pull up there a bit. But yeah, this is so well made. The thing I've always loved about Assassin's Creed games is, beyond the mechanics and all that, the design is always so well done. Like, it always feels like it's actually transporting me back in time. And look at that seascape, all those boats, all those little things. You know, PlayStation 3s couldn't load that shit. Nowadays with our computers and PS4 Pros, you can load in all these nice boats and, you know, the scenery underneath the water. Yeah, yeah, bro. Brag it up. I've gotten fucking stutter on my regular PlayStation. Yeah, but you can still load it in. And that in itself is a privilege compared to people with PS3s. Or a computer that plays the equivalent of a PS3's graphics card with today's you, modern age you games. And your PS4 acceptable race card. <laughs> yeah, acceptable race card. That's exactly it. I've got, hey, I've got the master race card. I just don't use it because of my fucking internet in Australia. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, the problem is your I... master race card doesn't really have a good enough master race slot to go into. You know? <laughs> Exactly, my Master Race card fits. <laughs> it's kind of been, it's like one of those wonky jobs where the RAM chip is like inserted, but there's still two golden prongs at the end coming out, but for some reason it works, so you just don't question it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, welcome to Australia, we don't have multi-thread. <laughs> uh, my Master Race is unfortunately not so masterful. <laughs> we still rely on drop bears as a reasonable source of entertainment. Give me a second. Pretty full though. Let's go to the lighthouse. Speed things up a bit here. Actually, I don't know if there's actually a flight speed increase when you do that. So that's the ground. Then we speed up. I swear there's no difference. I swear it's just the animation. Because look. Yeah, the camera zooms out. Oh, I guess. Okay, fine. It's a little bit faster, but not much. Oh, look. That, that must be like a port. Let's go check it out. Then we'll go to the lighthouse. Because, I mean, the lighthouse does kind of lead into the port. Oh, wow. Yeah, if I had armies to load onto ships, this is definitely where I would do that. 
The transition of that's a bit fast. You actually have to let go of the boost button to make the transition look nice. Oh, wow. Things you will only see in other parts of the world. Those birds are a little bit glitched out because the school of the flight of birds is running into a wall there, but these guys are perfect. Look at this. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. We are a bird. I will hunt you down, birds. I am the king of birds. Mwahaha. Watch as my minions attack this ship. Actually, no, we're going to the lighthouse, because ooh, bright light. <laughs> so, of course, the great lighthouse of Alexandria, fabled, and highly rendered. There we go. <laughs> Is so illustrious, though. What I might do now, let's quickly return to our character, load back in. Hopefully we're still on Jeffrey. What, what on earth happened here, Jeffrey? Did you crash... Oh my god, my camel crashed. I mean, you found a really nice spot, Jeffrey. I'll hand it to you, but... Did you have to? Like, come on, bro. Camel, 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 camel! But yeah, what I'm going to do now... Oh, wow, look at this. That might be Senu there. By the way, our eagle is called Senu, and it is a she. If anyone's interested. Tomb of Alexander the Great. Aww. Oh, oh, we knocked her the fuck out! Oh, she's up and running, but damn, that would have hurt. <laughs> when you get whiplash from a camel. Oh, that was beautiful. Jeffrey, you really got to be more careful, mate. Jeffrey, what have you got to say for yourself? Nothing. You just got that big grin with those massive chomping teeth. Fucking prick, Je uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> nah, Jeffrey the Camel's still the best name. Oh my god, look at him run. I didn't know... Well, I did know Camels could run, but I, just, I didn't know it looked so wonky. Good boy, Jeffrey. We'll have a talk about you running over people later. It's still fucking funny. So this is the marker I randomly chose at random. Now, you may be wondering why I just got off my camel. I'm going to pass time forward so we can see the lighthouse the way it should look. There we go. Now let's give it a flight past the old lighthouse. Actually, we may as well go to it in person. Um, hang on. Because... We need to climb up it anyway, I assume. Jeffrey! Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's past your bedtime, I'm aware. Alright, we want to go, like, there. Travel, sir! All right, now let's get the eagle out. Mm, 
look at the great lighthouse in all of its glory. Sorry guys, there will be more killing and assassinating later, I do promise, but I really want to explore this city because it is so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that over there. Just that spectacle alone. Imagine sitting down in a restaurant here somewhere next to the water looking down at that. Sure, you're looking at the slums, but it's e even that's pretty. That's amazing. And there's pyramids back there too. Like, what more can you want out of a view? Ain't gonna be no hotel. I can do that. What what's going on here? Oh don't tell me that's sunrise. It's too early for sunrise. No, it's moonrise. That is moonlight doing that. Holy damn. That's so cool. Ooh. Anyway. That's the great library here. Actually, I should show you guys this. It's very beautiful. The great library. The one that was, of course, burned down and held all of the secrets we yearn to know about. <sighs> stupid, stupid humans. When will we learn? We're almost at the lighthouse now, for the record. And there she is. This is a view that many sailors from ancient times would have looked at, looked upon. Knowing it would keep them safe. Knowing where to go home to. God damn, it kind of looked like you were going to go hunting with the eagle for a second. Dive bomb, man. I was like, is he actually going to come up with a fish? Because that would be pretty sick. Yeah. Use it in crafting something. You can use the eagle to attack people. You can actually do that. And oh, then... yeah. No, I saw that skill. I was just thinking, like, pull out a puffer fish, which would totally not be legit, but at the same point in time, craft that into some poison. Throw it into some people. Nah, it doesn't let you. Otherwise, I totally would dive Senu under the water here. Let's have a look at this beautiful ass lighthouse. Before the sun comes up, preferably. Wow. Let's hopefully render in those walls a bit, shall we? There we go. They've rendered now. Alrighty, bro. Oh, I gotta go to bed here. Alright, man. I will see you later today in my time. Yep. Catch you around. Yep. Peace out, bro. Alrighty, now let's actually climb this bastard. Ah, I'm not actually meant to be here. Lol. Of course, yeah, it would have been locked down pretty tight in case somebody decided to turn the light off. Also, the army relied on it, so yeah, I can see why you shouldn't be around this area. Alright, come on, climb. Climb like a bastard. Uh, hang on. Oh, we got hit then. Come on, one more. Okay, safe point. Alright, they can't see us anymore, which is actually quite funny. If we wanted to, we could... Oh, we're actually going to have to climb on this. Ooh. They're very angry at me for climbing their giant erectile building. I wonder if I can... Oh, I totally can. 
Oh, we can just climb it in the on the inside. Although I have a funny feeling there's going to be a garrison of troops in here that is going to be way too hard to fight. Just want to test something here. Okay, no, it's not meant as a trap to roll down. Right, here we are. Right, so to continue climbing, we are either going to have to find a gap in those spikes. Or go into a window. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be option B. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go through the window. Enemies? No? Good. Right, but there is no obvious way up. That is <laughs> something I have just noticed. Ah, stairs. Obvious way up. Right there. It's okay. I totally saw those. And here we are at the top. Well, at the top of the reachable areas. For normal people. Well, this is just beautiful. Aha, there it is, the viewpoint, as expected. Hang on, let's check out the flame. I've never seen the cage. Or what they believe the cage looked like. Oh, okay. It was actually someone stationed up here, too. Lots of wood. I wonder how they got the wood up here. Oh yeah, they'd obviously have a pulley. Where is the pulley? That's the next question. Let's climb to the very top. Because, you know, why not? 3 had a dog. There we go. I actually feel like this may or may not be the highest point in the game. Uh, maybe not. I guess we'll find out though. Definitely find out. There's a level 11 captain down there. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be because I could totally take that. Please do not drop down the side of the building. I still want the viewpoint. Which is right there. No! Oh, no! No! Oh, okay. We don't have to do all of it again. Oh, man. That could have sucked serious dick for a second. And why why would I use dick as an insulting metaphor? Because dick is salty. That is why. Man, where is this stream going? Check it out. Actually, can we advance time first? Because it'll look better during the day, I reckon. So quickly go over here. There we go.
Well, someone's noticed something, but I have no idea how they did. Alert! Alert! <laughs> wow. Boom! Commander dead. Not me. The, yeah. My username is Commander Pendle Pants. I didn't mean that. I meant that guy's dead, so yeah. Uh, where do I have to aim to hit you? Really? I can't hit you with this bow? That kind of stinks. Okay, well, whatevs. We've done one of the three objectives. Seriously, the first time you just jump off the top of the building. This time you're like, eh, yeah, I'll wait. Ass. What about now? Can I hit these fellas now? Nope. What happens to the arrow? No, see, it still hits them. It's just not giving me details. Ah, oh, it's because they don't know where I am. Oh, I keep just missing. Oh, it's actually not doing any damage. That's probably why. Alright. Let's find a way down. Ah, perfect. Right there. Whee! That was ridiculous. The Pharaoh's garrison. Who would have thunk? How did that not hit you? I'm sorry, but F off. I'm going to fight. What? Surprise! Go kill you. Oh, how do I keep missing these stupid... That pole, that flagpole is what I hit. Screw you, bud. I will fire the Brazier. Good luck, mate. Ah, that's the other one we need to kill. You brought this upon yourself, you big loser. Oh, Jesus. He's a big boy. Oh, ho, ho. Not big enough, though. Who's next? Who wants a bit of the sycamore in their face? Reinforcements are coming. Oh, screw you, bud. Am I? <laughs> Shit. These reinforcements you speak of. Time to kill! Now there's no one here. Typical. Come on, where are these reinforcements? Nah, no one. So typical. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Boom, you're dead. You're dead. <sighs> well, there's a lot of them here now. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, you do. Okay, here we go. Alright, bitches, you're all dead. Bam! Ho oh, ho, yes, I saw that one coming. Ouch. Screw you, bud. Seriously, screw you. You people are basically all dead men. I'm going to put that out there now. And you know what they say, dead men tell no tales. That's how you counter in this game, by the way. You hold your shield up. When they hit it, you hit circle. And you knock their defenses just completely out of the water. Um, assuming you're facing them, actually. That seems to be the key factor to success in that regard. You do obviously leave yourself open to being hit as well. Not a lot of people can stand up to the sycamore. Apart from... Oh, apart from how slow its speed is, of course. But as you can see, it annihilated all these people, so... It's pretty reliable in terms of being carved out of wood, that thing. I mean, it's carved out of, like, sycamore wood, which is as hard as iron, but still, still... We destroyed the Pharaoh's garrison. There is nothing left of it. If we can find that last bit of treasure, wherever it may be... Oh, there's still a guy here. Okay, let's let's test a new weapon. I like, I like having a guinea pig. There's a couple of weapons I haven't played with yet. So let's have a quick look. So... The Sham Shear is apparently our strongest actual blade. Yeah, let's let's try that one on for size. Hey Jeffrey. Surprise cockbag! Woo! Woo! That red versus blue saying is just hysterical. The way it was used. This is this weapon is super fast. Oh jeez, better dodge. And you sir. Haha, -ha, look at that. I took his arrow. Nah. Whoa, you sneaky bitch. That's what you get. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm liking this sword already. This sword feels like me. I don't mean hard and sharp. I mean... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean, this sword just feels like the right weapon for me to be using. I like it. What else do we have? There's another guy at the top there. Still at the Harp of Perseus. Haven't actually seen an execution of that thing, although I assume it'll just look like a sword. You know? Let's have a look, anyway. It's what's known as a sickle blade, so it's going to have its own animations. Sup guys, I'm here to raid your face. Die, die. It does, oh, it causes more bleeding damage, right. Come on then. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, yeah, that's... He did not enjoy that. Oh, can we use the catapult? Can we please say we can use the catapult? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There must be, there must be a way. Damn it. I can't see a way. I'm sorry. I wanted to use the catapult. Sup? Uh, let's get a new weapon. What can we use on this guy? I haven't seen any dual sword action yet. I look they're they're strong, they look weak, but the fact is they're just slow. Okay, so there's no is there a way to block? Okay, you do actually block, so that's good. What? Holy damn, we like machine gunned him with swords. Come on then. 
Okay, if we get some cooler looking damn, this is fun. Surprise, mother trucker! Cut you up! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh shit! Run! No, I said run. <laughs> Seriously, when? Since when is the square button the attack button? These are a lot harder to defend with. It's got to be said. You have to dodge, so you got to be better at the old dodge with these ones. Damn! That was pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know, I'm enjoying myself so far. Okay, we've got some more people on these walls. What weapon should we text, text, test next? Uh, obviously we do still have the Predator Bow, which is one of my favourites. It's just basically a sniper. You saw me using it earlier. Bam. Dead. Then there's obviously a standardized bow. There's also like shotgun and SMG bows, but I don't I don't really subscribe to that idea. I think it's a little bit over the top. Oh yeah, the scepters, they're a fun weapon to test out. So the scepters are like a spear, except it's got an extendable front. So when you use a heavy attack you'll notice it gets longer. Makes for some pretty good executions, I'll be honest. As we're about to see. Hopefully. Whack! <laughs> so yeah, that's the scepter. I don't think there's any more soldiers to kill. I think we've actually eliminated all of the pharaoh's garrison now. Unless they just infinitely respawn, but I don't think they do. No. So we're done here. Congratulations, Lighthouse of Alexandria. You gave us a little challenge, but not a big one. Ah, this is cool. Feel sorry for that guy. Oh, okay. I didn't actually hit him or his boat. I was aiming for the boat, for the record. Oh, it's an, it's an actual, like, naval ship. It's not just... Oh! Return fire! Really good spot there for you guys. You can't hit me, I can't hit you. Oh, look at this guy swimming away. Bam. Oh, what? Oh. Didn't realise he was innocent. He looked like a soldier swimming to the beach to come get me. Alright, you know what? That gives me another chance to show off the mechanic of this game. Flaming arrows. All you have to do is point your arrow at fire and that ship is going to set alight. Have fun with that. Burn, baby, burn. Need another one for good measure. You know? Just wait till the first lot of fire goes out. So the first bit of fire is supposed to make people jump off their boats, basically. And the second lot of fire actually starts doing damage to the boat itself. Now yeah, look, the soldiers are running away. Burn them! I wonder what their goal is here. Like, where are they going now? Like, fish in the sea. This is what it'll look like when humanity moves to the ocean, because the dolphins take over. This is what we have to look forward to, guys. Oh, they are actually coming this way. Alright. Oh, for God's sake. 
You know what? Screw it. Yeah, you didn't like that, did ya? <laughs> oh, shit, I feel so sorry for this guy. If I keep swimming, I might make it! Does that damage the ship? No, just the people on it. Alright. Duly noted. Oh! Nah. Way too slow. Oh, I swear that would have hit him. Oh, he, he got hit hard. Keep running. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, you didn't die from that. He died from that one, though, didn't he? Let's set their thing on fire. Their thing, their terrain, I think it's called. I think that's a terrain, or maybe an even earlier version of the ship. Is that on fire, or does it just look weird at the front? I think there's some hay there I could set on fire. I think I'm hitting people. move on. What's up, guys? Hello! They can see me now. One down. Location completed, but I haven't even discovered said location. Look at them, they don't have any bows, they're just standing there, yelling at me. Stop shooting arrows, you're really mean! Ah, whatever. I've already done something cool. Let's get in a boat. Oh look, this one's not burnt yet, so we can kind of use it, I think. Oh look, one of the guys I was attacking earlier is still here. Come on. Oh, he's got reinforcements now. Oh, oh, this just became an actual fight. Headshot. I am Legolas of the Seven Realms, or whatever the fuck it is. Woodland Realms? That's the one, I think. Oh, take that. Oh, you did not. You, sir, are in for amazing. Oh, sorry, no, a sceptering. Only one place on earth you can say that. Ooh, oh, shit. I missed. Oh, that boat is gone. Oh, now you've done it. All right, buddy. Don't suppose you want another firebomb. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that looks so brutal. Thanks for the loot, though. So here you go. This is, um... Let's take a dive in this beautiful ass ocean. Like, holy damn. I like the way the debris sort of floats around in the ocean for a bit. Fishy! It's tuna. Such a beautiful place for a swim. Right, moving on. What can we actually do? We can do quests. We've explored Alexandria. I hope you all enjoyed that. That was that was actually quite fun for me too. Lady of Slaughter side quest. Yami's recreation of the battle between Sekhmet and Isfet is jeopardized by the absence of Sekhmet's fighter, and it's up to Bayek to help. Reward is a legendary outfit. Okay. Yeah, I'm game. I'm game! 
Is this military, this one? Yeah, it is. Dude, what the hell? I just wanted on the boat. Sick of swimming. Off the boat you go. Get off my boat! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Also, you made it my boat when you attacked me on your boat. Just remember that. Yeah. Oh look, it's my best friends from Assassin's Creed 2. There was this one particular objective, like optional objective, where you had to jump along these piers in Assassin's Creed 2, and the pathfinding always knocked you into the water even though you knew exactly what you were doing. And, and the, the achievement was uh, complete this mission without touching water. Are you gonna cl- you fucking twat bag. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was just saving the uh a little footage there, I wanted that. Pamu likes to drink, he might be at the village tavern. Alright, well let's go. Oh my god, it's miles away. Jeffrey! Jeffrey the camel, where are you? Ah, there you are. Ali oop. Yeehaw! Where are you going? What are you doing? Stupid camel. Make up your... Oh, Jeffrey! <laughs> Let's have a look at the library from down here. Can't wait to go inside it, actually. I'm sure it'll all be paper scrolls, but still. What are these guys doing? Look at them, they're in a rush. Are they transporting something important? They are indeed. Oh no, I have absolutely no arrows. We have to do this the old fashioned way. They'll never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow it out your ass, PlayStation. It'll be fine. Just too many people in their classrooms at the moment doing... Well, they're meant to be doing IT work, and they're actually watching porno. That's why there's not enough internet in my bloody country. <laughs> not enough girlfriends to go around, apparently. That's not the same group as before, is it? It is, but I just killed two of them and now there's two of them. Oh, I can't be bothered. Screw this. Seriously, I just wanted some iron and then that, it glitched out and respawned those Oh, that was 
Can we fast travel to somewhere closer? Because I'm actually getting bored of walking around now. Yeah, look right there. Why is it not available? Like, fuck off. What could possibly be going on right now that stops me using fast travel? Why is fast travel not available? Why does it not tell you why fast travel isn't available? Is it because I've got... Is it because I'm choosing between bows? Is it because they're here? Seriously, what is it? Have I just not discovered that one? What about this one? No. This one? Oh, so I haven't discovered the others. Oh, okay. Well, there's a couple of viewpoints we need to go to then. So this is the Marauder's outfit. Or the Marauder Master outfit or something. Marauder Chief outfit, that's what it was called, yeah. Um, oh, that was a bit animacy. And a messy. Haha, uh -huh. puns. Alright, now we're only 300 meters away. That's, that's a bit nicer. Let's find a boat. There's a hippo! Run! No, oh, actually it was a crocodile, even worse. Ah! We're being attacked by a croc- Ah! Ship! What do you mean, time is up? Fuck you, mate. You wanna- you wanna turn this into a fight? I'm gonna win. You didn't like that, did ya? Oh, the hippo's still after me too, shit. Lily pad. All right, crash the boat on the shore a bit. There we go. Perfect. Objective in proximity called Senu. What is that target here? Oh, bring Pamu. So we're looking for a guy called Pamu who's at the tavern here. Oh, doggies. You all have to bark at each other all the time, don't you?
I was trying to make it look realistic, but then I realized we still have like a hundred meters to go here, so nah, screw that. We gotta get this guy some Baraka stat. Seriously, he's like going to waste himself here. Excuse me, emergency intoxication coming through. This guy needs his stomach pumped. Hello. That is Pabu. What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster. People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight. If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi. You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the high priest in the temple courtyard. He will take care of the rest. So, you failed to organize something properly. And then you're sending me to go to another person to let him know that we found a solution and you will want him to organize the solution. Okay, fine, sure. That sounds about right. Your Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. Pamu? He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... He is. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. <laughs> Grand. Guys, just plugging the phone in. I am the lady of slaughter. Oh, I have a scepter. Shall savor us, shielding us from the obscurity. <laughs> so if I die, all these people are basically fucked because the ritual didn't go the way it was meant to. Come on, just let me speed through this. I can't be bothered with it anymore, like, seriously. Look, his 
I heard like one clap. I could swear you were the blood eater herself. Ah, well, the priest's recounting of the battle is <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yambu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer, but I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so, they'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu, whenever your journeys bring you to our north. Sweet! I can actually wear that? Nice! Totally wearing that. Now we can wear it also. That's the other thing, uh, you can choose to have your hood on or not. Like, don't get me wrong, that mask looks epic. But, it looks epic without the mask too, I've got to be honest. So, we'll go, we'll rock the mask for a bit. Although, canonically, some, some guy did just carry the helmet off, so like, yeah. Excuse me. Is it an actual quest for me to say goodbye to those kids, or can I just leave this place now? Wait, I'm looking for my wife? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, well, I believe... Yep, let's do the main... Uh, mm, I might actually save that for another time. Let's see if we can find another one of these stone circles. I know, I just don't feel like this stream is lively enough for me to be doing main quests. have a look at what you can do me for. I did like that weapon. I've also been enjoying the sycamore a lot. I think I want to sell things though, to be honest. Yeah, that one can go. That one's no good to me. Same with that one. I haven't used either of these spears yet. Since they're both the same, yeah. Peasant's Scepter. Nah, get rid of it. The Gruesome Mattock. Mm. The Devotee of Monty. Mm. Nah, I don't like that sword. I, I tried rocking it for a bit, but I didn't like it that much. I'm going to get rid of my bronze sword too. There we go.
So how come I can't sell the commuted lost blade? Actually, I need to see what's what's what. I feel like, mm, but that one's still better. Okay, and this one's the same, so I may as well keep upgrading that one. And the sycamore is also the same. They're all the same. They're all the bloody same. I can probably get rid of the gruesome mattock. It looks amazing, but yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what I can buy from here. Ah, oh, there's the bone cracker that Kush has. Alright, well, I know where to get it now. But actually, I was here to sell more stuff. So, yeah, I uh, worked out that that one wasn't as good. Uh, don't really want that. I want a better... I want a better two... Yeah. I want a better combination. I want a better scepter as well. This Pharaoh's Mace thing is bullshit. No, I'll keep that for now, because I might need it further down the road. Who knows? Alright, now let's have a look at the upgrades. There we go. Two more damage, that's fine. Alright, Eagle, let's go. So now this weapon and my armor look incredible. It's kind of hard to see at night. Hang on. It's daytime. But yeah, I look freaking amazed balls. Let's go over here into the light. I want to see it better. Yeah. Woo. That looks so rad. Just quickly drop this hood off. Yeah, I'm happy with that appearance. Alright, well, thanks for joining me on the stream, guys. Not enough is happening, so I'm going to discontinue the stream, because, look, I love you guys, but you're taking too long. So, I'll do another stream later tonight anyway, at my usual time. See you guys all then. Bye-bye.